if your house was burning down type situation, what would you grab? These, these are gonna be the top five shoes that I'm gonna grab and here's why. What is going on guys? We are back with another YouTube video. Yes, sir. We're back. I'm excited. You guys miss me. I miss you guys. So today's video is going to be super, super cool. This is going to be the shoes that I cannot live without. These are the shoes that I need, like need. I don't, I don't know. But before we get into that, I wanted to bring back the shout out of the week. I told you guys in the last video, I'm bringing it back. So this week's shout out of the week is Nick dot kim three you are the shout out of the week for this video i love you bro everybody that is in the shout out of the week just know you guys are the real ones and you guys are my true like ride or die like homies so shout out to you nick i love you bro if you guys want to be in the next shout out of the week or the next shout out of the video all you have to do follow my instagram like this picture right here and comment and say that you're from youtube that's literally it all you have to do is just make sure i know you're from youtube and then boom shout out of the week just like that baby also on my instagram i just posted this really cool dirt bike video for those of you who don't know i race motocross and yeah so here's a little dirt bike video on my instagram if you guys want to check that out it's super super cool and very high production so yeah all right now let's get into this so these are going to be the top five sneakers that i absolutely cannot live without and why so basically i'm going to be going over all the shoes that have sentimental value or shoes that i would never ever get rid of this is going to be like the if your house was burning down type situation what would you grab these these are going to be the top five shoes that I'm gonna grab and here's why. So the first sneaker on this list, I'm sure you guys can see it missing off the wall, is going to be the Jordan 5 Grapes. And I know a lot of you guys are like, why the Great 5? What's so special about the Great 5? Let me tell you why. Basically, growing up, my family didn't have a whole lot of money. I was big into skateboarding when I was younger. I wore Vans, I wore Converse a lot. That was like my thing because I was a skateboarder when I was a kid. My family, once again, didn't really have a whole lot of money and Jordans were definitely not in the budget, okay? we got one pair of shoes a year that was it like beginning of the school year we got the school shoes that was it and Jordans were never in the equation so what I did a lot of the times is I would go to thrift stores Play-Doh's closets stuff like that and I would find like used beat up Jordans and I would come home and clean them up right that's how I actually got my Jordan 1 CP3s and I got those for $13 and I came home and I hit them with the toothbrush and cleaned them all up and made them all good again but these were actually my first ever pair of retro Jordans Jordan. And I know that kind of sounds crazy. Like, how do you still have them? How do they still fit? How do they? I'll tell you. What ended up happening was I started to get into Jordans. I, I really, really liked Jordans. I liked the history behind them. I liked Michael Jordan himself. I wasn't really a big like sports kid. Like I wasn't like crazy about like sports statistics, none of that. I thought Michael Jordan was like the coolest dude ever because of just what he did and how he did it. It wasn't really so much about basketball and the stats and stuff like that. I know that's gonna make a lot of people mad, but I'm just not like a basketball fan. Like I just think Michael Jordan is what all the stuff he's done, how he built a brand, Man, what he did like it was just insane to me that was kind of like who I looked up to when I was you know in middle school and stuff so what ended up happening was one Christmas my dad was like hey what do you want for Christmas and I was like these Jordan 5 grapes actually just came out not too long ago. The grape fives, I don't know why I was just obsessed. I love the fives. That's all I used to look at when I was younger, but the grape fives were something that I just thought were, I don't know why I just like, I needed that shoe. That was the shoe that I wanted so very badly. So I found a, a used pair on eBay. That was this pair right here. And my dad was so mad. He spent like $260 on a used pair of shoes on eBay for my Christmas present. And I was like more than excited. This was my first pair. This is like when people ask like, what got you into shoes? Like what was the shoe that got you into shoes? Or how did you get into sneakers? These right here, the great fives. They are the old, the jump man pair. And yes, these are the same pair that I've had since I was like in seventh grade. Like that's crazy to me. Like they're, they're pretty worn and pretty like yellow, but I kept these so clean. I used to like duck walk in these Bruh. things and I would wear them like once a month. 
month strategically just so I didn't mess them up. And I also got them like one size too big just because like in case like my feet were still growing, I would still be able to wear these. So when everybody on Christmas opened up all their gifts, I opened up a pair of used Jordans and I was so excited. And the crazy part was I grew up in kind of like a small town, like in Kansas, like cornfields and cows and stuff like that. I actually used to get made fun of for wearing Jordans to school. People would try to step on them. People just thought I was goofy for wearing Jordans. I don't know. I know that's hard for some people to believe, but that's just how it was. This shoe right here just means the world to me. I don't know. Like it's just a sentimental thing. My very first pair of Jordans, this is what got me into everything. And yeah, so that's number one on the list. Kind of long, but yeah. And the next shoe on this list is going to be the Jordan 1 Chicago's. This is the 2015 release right here. These shoes are my all time favorite sneakers in the world, right? Nothing on this shelf would even be like possible without this shoe right here. The Jordan 1 Chicago, the greatest sneaker of all time. And I don't care what nobody says, the greatest sneaker of all time. This is the most iconic, most legendary shoe in the world, in my opinion, my opinion. And I'm not talking about the 2015 release. I'm just talking about the Jordan 1 Chicago in general. These are the shoe that I, that I like actually really geeked out when I bought. Like these were insane. It was a crazy story how I got these two. My girlfriend actually entered a raffle at SneakerCon uh, for the eBay raffle. She won a pair of Cactus Jack Jordan 6s, the, the Travis Scott British Khaki 6s, and she got them in my size for free. So I got that sneaker for free in a raffle from eBay, and I ended up trading those and $550 cash for this sneaker right here. And I was just, I don't know. It was just like in a, I wouldn't say like emotional, but it was just like a moment that I will remember. It was getting the Jordan 1 Chicago. I remember when I was in middle school, when I got these, I used to take a lot of the art classes and stuff like that. I was, I was big into art and drawing and painting and stuff like that. I actually did a portrait in middle school of the Jordan 1 Chicago. We had like a free paint day and I painted these and it was like on my wall in my room in middle school for literally years. I don't know, the Jordan 1 Chicago, most iconic, best, most legendary, craziest sneaker in the entire world, in my opinion, of course. All right, the next sneaker on the list of the shoes that I cannot live without, and that is going to be the Jordan 1 Off-White UNC. And I know this is kind of generic, kind of corny. I know everybody like knows this shoe, everybody. But for me, this sneaker right here is something I never thought I would have. Like this is a sneaker that I never thought I would own. I never thought in a million years that I would like just outright buy this shoe. Like, I don't know, like this, this shoe is just something that's like on a different level, in my opinion, the Off-White Jordan 1. And I actually bought these as like a reward to myself for hitting 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Yes, once I hit this right here, this milestone, I rewarded myself with a shoe that I've always wanted and I never thought would be attainable. I never thought 100,000 subscribers on YouTube would be attainable, let alone these. So it was kind of like it was a reward to myself and it's very sentimental as like a milestone in my career kind of so this shoe means a lot more than just an expensive hype beast shoe i guess this is like this is like a milestone and a reward to myself like these just mean so much to me all right and the number four shoe on my top five shoes i cannot live without list here is going to be the jordan for breads, okay? And I know a lot of you guys are kind of like, oh, it's another generic thing. But let me tell you why. In middle school, this is one of the shoes that I just dreamed about having. Like this was my thing. Like, bro, I would literally just like Google and go on eBay and just look at pictures of these shoes in like in my free time. I, I just, I don't know why I just loved this shoe. And I kind of got out of sneakers uh, a little bit towards the end of middle school, beginning of high school. And then I got back into it. And this was one of the first sneakers that I bought as like a remembrance of my middle school like dream was to have this shoe so and my old old pictures of my old sneaker collection like forever ago these were in there um this shoe i remember when the Jumpman pair came out when i was younger i wanted those so bad and so i had to like get these just as like a remembrance to that younger kid that younger <laughs> chance uh just on his computer on his phone like just staring at this shoe with drool coming out of his mouth and another thing 
You cannot go wrong with this shoe. You could wear this shoe with any outfit and it's gonna look good. Like I promise you, it's gonna look great. And you can wear this shoe literally to the ground and beat it up. And in my opinion, it will still look good. This shoe is just like, but yeah, to keep it short and sweet, the Jordan 4 bread is just like, I don't know. Like you can't not have this shoe. Same thing with the Chicago's. You just kind of can't not have this shoe. This shoe is amazing. I don't know. All right, and the last thing on my top five sneakers, I cannot live without is actually not a sneaker okay and that is the yeezy slides okay and and i know hold on whoa now a lot of you guys are gonna be like really yeezy slides like seriously bro let me tell you why i was the first one to hate on these i thought they looked weird i thought they were kind of stupid i thought they were way overpriced for what they were let me tell you these are the most comfortable things i've ever put on my feet all right when i was in high school i actually had a really bad motocross motorcycle accident and I completely shattered my leg. I had surgery and screws and pins and all that put in on my leg. So when I am on my feet a lot and my ankle just starts hurting, okay? When I am walking around all day, I'm on my feet all day, my ankle starts killing me, my leg starts killing me. And these are always my go-to to like relax and, and be comfortable. Like whenever I go to sneaker con, whenever I go on flights or travel or whatever, these are an absolute must to pack. Like at sneaker when I've been walking around all day long, I keep these in my backpack. I keep it on me. I keep it on me. And I throw these on at the end of the day and it just helps me out a lot and they're so comfortable. I don't really know what else to say besides they are so comfortable and they are just great. I've said it before and I will say it again. I think these are something that everybody needs. Same thing as the Bread Force the Chicago ones. These are something that literally everybody needs and I need another pair because my pair, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, camera it is absolutely torched no matter where i'm traveling to where i'm going these are always with me i don't care what anybody says when i go to the beach when i go to la when i go to any city any travel anything these are always with me and they are literally probably my most essential shoe that i have comfort wise not like sentimental none of that but like comfort wise these are like i always have to have these no matter what i have to have these and i, I just got the foam runners and i'm probably gonna end up getting another pair of these soon because these are about to kick the bucket all right that is pretty much it for today's video if you guys haven't already like comment subscribe hit that notification bell so you get notified every time i post because i do post a lot and i said this in the last video but in case you guys missed it i will be at sneaker con denver and sneaker con la so if you are going to sneaker con denver or sneaker con la you can catch your boy there say what's up take a picture dab me up say what what's what's popping i cracked myself up anyways i hope you guys enjoyed follow my instagram if you haven't already tiktok facebook everything follow me on everything and that being said i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video peace